Hey everybody, this is Claudia and today we're going to try to do some nails inspired by the summer scents from Bath & Body. I love Bath & Body, especially when you walk in and it's as if there was an explosion of fruits and candy. But to start off, I'm pushing and removing my cuticles with the cuticle pusher. I will be taking this soft grit file to gently file the surface of my nail. I do have some remaining glue from my previous nail set, so I'm going to file that away. Next, I'm going to clip my nails. They are already short, but one side of the nail is uneven, so I'll be fixing that. Here I have stiletto tips that I got from Amazon. They come in clear and natural, but I will be working with natural today. I like how they are separated in bags because when they are in a container with dividers, it has happened to me that when I open the lid, the nails fall out, causing the nail sizes to get mixed. So I really like this idea. Next, I'm choosing my nail sizes. I am satisfied with the length. They are not too long or too short. But I did have some trouble finding a nail for my ring finger, but some little nail tip filing fixed that issue. Here we have the nail tips applied. Next, I'm going to file the nail tip surface. That way it can have a better grip of the base coat. Then afterwards, I'll remove the excess dust, but I think it's better to wash my hands so it can completely wash away any hidden dust. Before I apply the coat, let me explain what design I'll be using. So since it's almost summer and it feels like summer already, I chose to use the top five summer scents from Bath & Body's website. It has these summer vibrant colors. Everything that you do in the summer, the beach, and those memorable fair activities, and those delicious bakeries that you get in the fair. So I printed those images on a water slide decal paper that I also purchased from Amazon. The link to this will also be in the description box below. I printed different sizes, just a rough estimate of if they'll fit my nails. I know I'll be using this water slide decal paper for other fun activities like printing images on a mug and that sort of stuff so I know I'll be having fun with this. So the instructions say to spray a clear acrylic over but in this case I will use a clear coat nail polish all over the image of the bottles only. Look at the colors. I love summer summer is the season of fun and adventure and the smell of sunblock i love it and i can't wait so while this dries up i will be adding my base coat i'm using the base coat from morovan and i'm applying it to the entire nail 
then I will cure them under a new lamp. And look how shiny they look. So for my thumb, I will be doing this sunshine mimosa design. I'm starting with white poly gel. I want a light background. Well, the background will be covered up later anyways, but I will start with a big blob of poly gel uh, near my cuticle and work my way up. Of course, I will add more product as I go. I love using poly gel because if you let it sit by itself and flip your nail upside down, the product will move and smooth itself out. But the product will spread and may run over the side walls, so I'll have to remove that with the brush. And once I'm done with that, I will cure it. I will come back to this nail. First, I'm working on making the base poly gel on the nails. So jumping over, to my ring finger. I'm creating the at the beach design. It's pretty simple. I'm taking the Celeste blue jelly color and light blue jelly color onto my nail and work those two colors together. And as I'm building the nail, the colors blend in pretty well and it's actually as if I only applied one poly gel color, but that's okay because I will be adding glitter to the nail later on. Now moving on to the index finger, I'm using a Coral Jelly Poly Gel color. This nail will be inspired by the Berry Waffle Cone, so I'm just going to build the nail. And I know I'm jumping one finger to the other, but after this, the remaining two nails will have the white poly gel that I used on my first nail. So this is how we're looking to remove the tackiness. I'm removing some alcohol on all the nails except the ring finger. And this is because I will be using the tackiness of the ring finger to my advantage. Remember, this nail I'm doing the at the beach look. So I need glitter. Here I have 12 containers with glitter and this is from Amazon, of course. I will be taking the closest color to gold. And taking this brush, it may be a bit too big. It's actually a paint brush, but I later moved on to a smaller brush and poured some glitter. This look is supposed to be the ocean and sand, 
So I'm not going to cover the whole nail with the glitter. All right, we are done with one nail. Now before I start applying the nail decals, I am going to shape and file the nails except the ring finger. Filing and shaping is something I am constantly practicing to get it right. One of the nail channels that has helped me on my nail journey is Susie from Nail Career Education. She has a hand filing video and she does a wonderful job explaining and showing how to hand file. And I've put to practice her advice and I've noticed my filing technique improve. So I'd recommend watching her videos. Now I will start working on my nails in order, starting with my thumb. I have latex tape peeled off and its purpose is to protect your cuticle. I will show you in a minute why I am applying it. As I said, the thumb will be the Sunshine Mimosa design and to achieve the look I am doing an ombre using a sponge. I lined up all the colors. You want to be fast with this or else the nail polish will dry so you can see that the first color starts with the red then it will transition into a violet, orange, yellow, and white. You can use any type of sponge. I just grabbed a kitchen sponge and cut it around the length of my nail. And this is where the latex comes in. It protects the skin from staining. So now that I'm done, I'm going to simply peel it off. This is so ironic because I just had a spill incident when I was trying to remove the applicators from one of the nail polishes to apply it onto the sponge. The bottle actually fell over the table, hitting the marble floor, and the nail polish made a pretty big mess. And as I was trying to clean it with some acetone, I stained my other fingers, as you can see. Anyways, back to the nails. I'm adding a layer of clear coat, and this should blend everything together. Moving on to the next nail, remember this nail is inspired by the berry waffle cone. So I'm bringing in the decals that have dried up already. And I chose the image that should cover my whole nail and I'm cutting around the image. Next, I'm submerging the image into room temperature water for about 30 seconds. When the time is up, the image should slide off the white backing paper. I'm using clear coat to help the decal stay in place. Then I'm cutting the excess plastic off. The decal did not cover my entire nail. So I'm going to cut off the other design of the food push cart and apply it onto the bottom of my nail. For the next nail, it is inspired by the watermelon lemonade fragrance. So from here, it's basically repeating the same steps. I'll cut the image, make sure it fits my nail, soak it into water, and add a clear coat 
onto my nail, remove the backing paper from the image, and apply it onto my nail. After cutting the excess plastic and securing the image, you can see that again the image was not able to cover my entire nail. So adding a light pink poly gel to the bottom, that way it won't have an awkward plain white color at the tip. Now onto my final last nail. This is inspired by the, I believe, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Wakaiki beach coconut fragrance and I think this is my most favorite design the colors are so vivid and tropical and there we have it oh but before I forget I need to return to my thumb again because this design does need some glitter so I'm going to use some of this silvery colored glitter add some clear coat again to my nails and sprinkle some of the glitter the glitter is mainly between the violet and orange color, so that's the areas I'm trying to target the glitter to. All that is left is encapsulating the nail with clear poly gel. I won't add encapsulation to my thumb because I made that nail pretty thick already. So I'm just adding clear coat, excuse me, I'm just adding clear poly gel to the four other nails. Now that I finish adding the encapsulation and carry them, I'm going to follow them off camera. So, BRB. Alright you guys, here comes in our last final step and that is the top coat. I'm using the McCart top coat and look at the nails come to life. Ooh, look at that golden glitter. It is so pretty. I wish the blue can be a little bit more pigmented, but I still like it. So for the cuticle oil, I'm trying something different today. I'm using this green tea serum that's actually for the face, but it's still going to work the same and it smells very good. And there we have it guys, some Bath & Body Inspired Nails Summer Edition. I think they turned out amazing. I am in love with this set. Let me know what you guys think and let me know what's your favorite product from Bath & Body. My all-time favorite is the Japanese Cherry Blossom. It smells so good. Well, that's it for the video, you guys. If you made it to the very end, I thank you. And hey, I might even do a Bath & Body giveaway sometime. So to make that possible, please subscribe, hit the like button, and stay tuned for my next video. Bye, guys.